Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Now, as you can tell by the title, today we're going to be doing something very exciting. I'm going to be kind of rearranging my room again. I love doing these types of videos. Every now and then, I just get this urge to change stuff up in my room. And today we're going to be tackling my like beauty space, my vanity area. Um, I recently got this like makeup fridge for Christmas, which I love. If you guys want to see a video on this with everything I keep in it, let me know down below because I've been obsessed with it. But since it is like quite a bigger product, um, it's taken up some space on my vanity and I kind of wanted to switch some stuff up to make more room and everything. And um, we're gonna try to reorganize stuff. I think I might add some shelves, maybe get a new drawer unit, something like that. Just give me some extra storage space since my collection has obviously built up over, you know, the years being on YouTube and everything. And um, I just am feeling a change for something new. So if you guys wanna go through this like vlog process with me of but rearranging my vanity area and creating like a new vanity space for my makeup and skincare and all my beauty products just keep on watching all right so basically there's just like a lot going on on my desk right now and i don't want this much stuff on it because i had to move a bunch of stuff off of it to fit the fridge in there and then i also have like a bunch of stuff underneath like boxes and stuff from different product packages and everything so there's just a lot going on i want to fix this I have these shelves, um, which I actually have one of them holding my lipsticks right there. And I want to put these like up on this wall so that I can like put all my perfumes and my look like pretty packaged lipsticks here instead. So they're not taking up my desk space, but I think it might look weird behind this Alex drawer. So I think I might try to move this Alex drawer over, take that Alex drawer, move it beside put the shelves there and then maybe put another Alex Shore unit underneath. So I'm gonna try moving some stuff around right now and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so I have this cubicle on this side of my room that I think I want to move over to like my vanity. So I'm going to take everything out of it and then move it over. All right, so everything on my desk is a mess right now, but we moved the Alex drawer that was underneath. Um, we moved it right beside so that I could have these two right here. Just give me a little more like space spread out. And then we're just kind of trying to see where the shelves would look good. And I think I'm actually going to get another little one to put under there just for more storage. Over here, I brought down this other shelving unit and I've just kind of been organizing my purses in it. And then I moved this one over here instead and I'm going to have to clean and organize everything in those. All right, so we put the two shelves up here and I had this one um, put a little bit higher so that if I ever choose to get another um, one of the tall extras, it will still fit. But this is what it looks like right now. And I'm honestly really happy with it. Alright guys, so this is kind of what the situation looks like over here. I'm going to show you guys this side of my room. So we put up the two paintings. These ones actually I made by myself. I made them back in my DIY days. So I thought I would finally hang them up and then I put the same type of shelf right below it where I can put some other stuff too. So let's start cleaning up the leftover mess. So I have all these lipsticks that I'm going to put up here. My Milani lipsticks of course I want to display so let's get to organizing them on the shelves. <music> Alright guys, so I finished putting up my lip products, so I have all my Milani um, statement and matte lipsticks here, and then the bold mattes up front. Up here I have my satin matte as well as the metallics. I have my fridge here, some lip products. These I need to put away once I get the other drawer unit, I'll be able to put these away. Alright, so now I'm going to tackle this right here and kind of decorate it and make it look nicer. All right guys, so it's actually the next day and I'm gonna continue working on this. So my plan for this morning is to clear out this whole uh, cubicle right here. There's a bunch of stuff in there that I 
honestly do not need um, and just can get rid of. So let's get to tackling this. Here is how it is looking right now. I moved my jewelry onto this cubicle and then my diffuser and stuff onto here. I'm going to have to get a rack for my nail polishes, but so far it's looking pretty good. So I'm just in the car right now. I'm actually going to head to Ikea. I'm meeting my boyfriend there and we're gonna shop around for the new Alex drawer unit as well as some new shelves. So I'll see you guys at Ikea. I just finished up at um, Ikea and sadly they did not have the Alex drawer I was looking for um, but I was able to get this shelf right here which isn't the exact same as the ones I have at home it's quite a bit wider but that just means I can probably fit more nail polish on it because that's what I was wanting to do with this so I'm gonna go home and try to see if I can order the Alex drawer um, Hopefully it can come in pretty soon so that I can finish everything up. But yeah, I'm just going to head home now. I'm back home now and I just opened up the new shelf. So it is quite a bit wider than the other one. But in length, it is the exact same. Bingo! Are you so excited? Anyways, I decluttered my nail polishes also and I put all the ones that I'm keeping up here. If you guys want to see that declutter video or a nail polish video like collection, um, just let me know in the comments. But anyways, I'm thinking of putting this shelf somewhere on this wall so that I'm able to put all the polishes on it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Alright guys, so we've put up the shelf and as you can see it is fairly wider now this one right here has like this divot in it because it's supposed to actually be for hanging frames like um if you had like a frame or something so that it sits in there and doesn't slide but i personally bought it for my nail polishes so i feel like i really like it here because it's right on top of my jewelry it's not in the way of anything i was considering it putting it here but then i feel like it would just be harder for me to access my shoes so i really like it here so now it's time to organize all the nail polishes onto here i kind of color coordinated them yesterday a little bit so let's just put them on the rack all right guys so i put them all on the rack and i might switch things up since um i do have all of my sally hansen at the front which does kind of um, you know cover these smaller bottles back here um, but if you guys want to see a nail polish collection as I said let me know but I'm actually liking how this looks um, right on top of my jewelry it is really nice and now I can finally have my nail polishes up and out of the way and not sitting in a basket like they were before where I'd always have to scramble to find the color I was looking for so I'm actually really happy with how this looks and then the reason I left this one out is because it's a top coat and I've actually been storing these in my desk now instead of displayed since I mean it's not a color so I don't feel like it needs to be displayed so I keep all my like nail prep items like top coats base coats treatments um cuticle oils everything like that in this drawer right here and then I keep my acrylics in a different drawer so once I'm able to get my new Alex drawer unit I'll be able to put all my nail stuff together in one drawer but for now it is how it is yeah right, so here is the finished look so on my dresser I just have this mirror which I keep here because I honestly use it for filming so I can actually see what I'm filming when I film with my back camera then I just have this little frame that just says stress depressed but well dressed I think it's cute and then it just has this whole thing about not having enough clothes around it, I think it's very fitting for me. I have this little princess mug filled with some um, candy and stuff. I have my galaxy projector and then I moved my diffuser here and this is the perfect space for it I feel like because you know it's out of the way and um, it's more elevated so that I feel like it will get to the more of my room. Then we have this cubicle which used to be on this wall. I have all my jewelry here now so necklaces, earrings, studs hoops bigger hoops and then i just have these canvases right here just kind of displayed in the cubicle the first two are like nice and cutesy um i have like some jewelry boxes and then the album my boyfriend gave me i have this purse and um just some little cute 
uh, things, sunglasses, my essential oils and candles, and then down there is just more like miscellaneous random stuff that I didn't have really another place to put. Now this I kind of uh, DIY'd, so I took this hook and used it to hang this little backpack up and it worked perfect. I have this bin for like my bigger bags that I moved here. This used to be stuffed in my closet, but I think here I'll actually use it more and it's just more accessible for me. My shoe closet, nothing changed about that. And then over here, this is actually a uh, chocolate box that I got from my parents one year, but I actually kept it because I think it's such like a beautiful painting on it and I actually really enjoy it. So I'm keeping it for now. Then I have my two paintings that I did myself. I might want to do another one and put it above um, my bed just because I have nothing on that wall. So we'll see about that. Then on this shelf, I just put this little L, this cute little purse, and then a backup of one of my favorite perfumes, just because I didn't know what else to put up there. I have this little Aldo purse right here that my boyfriend got for me. I love this purse, so I had to put it right um, in the center. This little lipstick um, frame that I made, and then some watches. And then just my bags here. So I put my most used ones on top, my bigger ones in the center, and then just all the other ones I had down here. I feel like I'm going to use my bags way more now this way because, as I said, they were all stuffed in my closet. Never really used a bunch of them. I just kept going to the same ones. So this way I feel like I'll really use them. I love how they're displayed now. And I just love this corner of my room so much more now. I feel like it's really me. I can go over there and feel all glam, get ready in, you know, with everything over here, all my my accessories are in one place and I'm honestly really happy with how it turned out. Now turning to my desk of course which was the main objective of this project I have my Alexa, this little salt lamp, this L letter, my brushes, and then over here some candles, this little decor thing, some lipsticks and my mirror. And I love how I now have this extra space with this right here. Once I get my other Alex drawer, I'm going to take the legs off this desk and rest it right on the other Alex drawer. So then this will be the same height as it and it will just be like a desk extension. So I'm really excited about that. But then I moved some of my lipsticks over here. I have my skincare fridge, which I'm obsessed with. And then I'm loving how this area looks right here. I love that I can display my products like this now. So I have all my Milani lipsticks, some perfumes and a picture, some more Milani, some more miscellaneous perfumes, my go-to palettes, lip liners, and then these boxes are staying here for now. Once I'm able to order an Alex drawer, I will do so, um, but unfortunately they are completely sold out online and in store, so I'm going to have to wait on that. But once I get that, I might do a part two for you guys to um, join me along with the whole organizing process and everything like that. But here is my vanity. I'm honestly really, really happy with it. And I just moved this chair that used to be in this corner of my room over to my closet. And I really like it here a lot better just because now I can use it to like get up into my closet. And where I used to have my purses is now extra storage for me. So I'm really happy with this. And overall, I just love how everything turned out. So here is the new space. I'm so obsessed with it. I love how my vanity looks and I can't wait to start creating new content in here. Um, you know, it just looks so much cleaner and I really, really enjoy it. You know, every now and then it is good to have some change. I just feel like everything's more fresh and renewed when you do so. so I wasn't loving my vanity and makeup space at all anymore. And now I'm absolutely obsessed with this. So I'm so excited. I'll definitely have to do a part two since I couldn't get my Alex drawer and couldn't and organize um, my makeup and stuff and kind of reorganize the stuff actually inside my vanity so I'll definitely do a part two whenever I'm going to be able to order that whenever the Ikea has them back in stock but yeah guys that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed I definitely love doing this I love rearranging my room and decor videos aside from makeup I just love decorating and all of that so thank you so so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and also make sure to turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video and yeah guys that's it for this one I'll see you in the next one bye